Man, I'm gonna... I'm just trying to get ready for the show tonight, so that's the thing. <laughs> Trump, look, 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 listen, man, listen. Trump tasked multi-agency committee with countering pro-marijuana message report. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what that means. Trump tasked a multi-agency committee with countering pro-marijuana message. So he wants to go against pro-marijuana messaging, and he, he formed a committee to do it, a multi-agency committee. All right, so White House tasked a multi-agency committee, the Marijuana Policy Coordination Committee. <laughs> what happened to, like, cutting down a government? <laughs> what happened to the idea, like, you get too much government, we need smaller government? You're making committees. For to, to counter marijuana messaging. <laughs> oh, the wacky weed. It's going to burn your brain cells out. All right. As if caffeine and alcohol didn't already do that. The Marijuana Policy Coordination Committee reportedly has asked 14 federal agencies and the Drug Enforcement Administration to forward data demonstrating the most significant negative trends about marijuana and the threats it poses for the country. So Donald Trump wants... Um, he wants to make marijuana look scary. <laughs> he wants marijuana to look scary, man. I'm joking, not joking. It's no purpose of this. And so, uh, oh, no, Taco Bell trips are dangerous. You don't want to go to Taco Bell too often. <laughs> so the information is reportedly intended for briefings with President Trump and to fight a perceived biased narrative about marijuana. So they think that people think marijuana is too safe and they want to change that. I wonder if it had anything to do with, like, uh, you know, insurance companies <laughs> or the alcohol industry. Man, marijuana is no more dangerous than any of this other stuff you put in your body. It actually is less dangerous than a lot of shit you put in your body. A Twinkie will kill you. Kool-Aid will kill you. But you don't see a committee to fight against these fat-ass, obese kids. No, no committee on that. So anyway, it says the prevailing marijuana narrative in the U.S. is partial, one-sided, and inaccurate. <laughs> oh, you want to go back to the days of everybody being afraid of weed. I mean, I'm just saying they make it seem like, you know, like just because a person did weed and then 20 years later they become a meth head doesn't mean that the weed made them be a meth head. Like... And I know you don't like weed, man. You're always like, ah. You know I don't smoke weed that often because I get paranoid on weed. But I don't find a problem. I, I think, I know for a fact alcohol is more damaging. And don't even talk about cigarettes. I'm trying to quit. Look, I thought we were going to leave it to the states, Jeff Sessions and Trump. So why you got to have a committee to try to make marijuana to demonize it? Like, let the state do what it's going to do. Just go ahead and do the tariffs on China, whatever you're doing. Does that make sense? Man, we should go get some weed right now to resist Trump.